Hello everyone, welcome back to another coding video. Today is Friday, just got back from school, and I'm going to teach you guys about the do while loop. So, very similar to the while loop, except you say do before you say the condition for what happens. So, if you remember in the while loop, you had to say what condition had to be true to be executing whatever is inside of these curly brackets. But for the do while loop, you just ensure that you do this thing inside here first, like do a thing, and then you say the condition that this has to fulfill for the loop to go back to the start again. So the main difference is that you get to clearly see what you're actually doing as well as know that the condition will come afterwards. Um, there's not really much of a downside except that it uses more lines because do takes up one line while you would just actually have the while wait that's not a you would normally just have like while and then like that for a while loop, so you're using slightly more lines. But it's a lot more clear, and you get to at least execute this thing inside here once. So that's kind of the main reason people like to use do while. And another reason is that you get some kind of like cognitive continuity while you're writing the code, because most of the time you might not know what conditions you want, or like not exactly what know what you want. But you know the like the action that has to be taken first. So you might want to use a do while loop instead of a while loop, where you have to type in the condition first. So let's get started. Let's make an integer variable. Let's call it x. x equals zero. All right. And add the spaces. Good formatting. All right. So do print f percent sign d and then maybe a space, and x. So I made the font a bit bigger so you guys could see. What I've done here is I'm going to print a number variable followed by a space so that the next time I print whatever thing I'm going to do, I'm going to print it like with a space between the two numbers. And I'm going to print out x. And of course, it, this is a loop, so we're going to make x increase x plus plus that means x equals x plus one basically so you can type alternatively you can do x equals x plus one and then that so now we see the condition let's print out up to 50 while x is less than 50 maybe less than or equal to let's see the difference now let's f11. What? Um, continue. Hello. What? Okay. I'm not really sure what the problem is. Maybe not supposed to have an and sign. Oh, that's all the problem. Yeah. Okay. So don't use the and sign here. That's not a good choice. That disappeared. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So, we've got 0 to 50. Very nice. Now, I did less than or equal to here because if you just do less than 50, then what you're going to get is 49, which is, it, it, it might be what you want, but what you should always do is print whatever number you want to print, and I want to print 0 to 50. Or if you want to do 1, and see what happens. 1 to 50. Very nice. And you can also print like a phrase over and over again. You can even scan over and over again. Like, um, let's say you wanted to actually comment instead of delete. So, scan f, percent sign d, um, and 
y. Let's make another variable, int y equals zero. Wait, no, no values. All right, scan f and y with that semicolon. And what we're gonna do here is scan three times and then print everything out. So at, right after the loop, we can print, wait, let's see. Hmm. Alternatively, we can make an array and then hmm, y, y x, x equals zero, less than three. So now we go from zero to three, so that's like zero to two actually. So zero, one, two, that's three times. That's basically what we did, except we're using an, an array, so we have to like go to zero first because we can't just like print out like the the first to the fourth one in this um, array. So we might have to run another loop. Now let's do a while loop just for fun. While um, let's make another variable int z equals zero space all right while z less than three we print f percent sign d with the space let's see and y z so we have all the number values stored inside of this y array of num of integers and then we use another loop to print out all three of the values with a space in between them so let's see what happens hope this works oh um array size missing well i mean it's three so let's do that okay so we have to type in three numbers Let's do three, four, and uh, one. Oh, geez. One, two, three. Oh, geez. Failed again. Something's clearly wrong here. Probably we don't have to do the and sign only in one of these places. One, two, three. What? This is insane. Okay while z less than z. Oh, right, because we didn't make z add. Oh, I'm so stupid. All right, don't make that mistake. You saw it here first. Um, We have another problem. Wait, oh, I just didn't press enter. Okay, so now we see how this whole thing works. So we scanned in three values into one array, and then we put out the numbers in this order. So I would say that was a pretty good learning experience. Don't forget to do this add thing because then you will have issues. I'm not sure about how this works. The and combinations, well, I mean, there's only four combinations, so I might as well just keep trying to see what works. One, two, three. All right, you can't have and here, and I'm too lazy to like debug this completely but it works as it should at the moment. So why would I bother changing it? And another thing, you can notice that there's a bunch of threes here. So we can actually make a variable that stores that value to see like the length of the array. Um, let's do int n for number equals three. And then we can n replace all the threes and there's a three here. N. Okay, let's see if this works. Oop. One, two, three. All right, works just fine. Thank you guys for watching this video about the do while loop. See you guys next time.